What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm a little dirty right now. I was just underneath the car. Probably in got some oil in my hair. Got me a little splashed. But anyways, so I'm doing an oil change on a GLS 450 Mercedes. All right, so we are changing the oil on the Mercedes and I'm gonna show you a little bit, just a quick tip. Uh, it's really simple to get an oil change on these cars. On these cars. If it's nice and dry outside, you can just hit the raise button. You can raise your car up a couple inches, slide underneath, take the shield off underneath the engine, and uh, access the bolt that hole that's on the oil pan where you actually retract oil. And you can reach it from the bottom, and it's pretty simple. So let me uh, go ahead and show you. So I have removed a shield, which is down here on the, on the back. This is your oil pan, which is super small right here. And that's your drain plug. Your drain plug is right here. So I'm draining it right now. This is your little nut on the drain plug. So right here. And I used half an inch. Ooh, come on, zoom in, zoom in. I used a half an inch wrench to get it loose. And then I used my hand and uh, dropped it down. So if you guys are doing this yourself, uh, these little nuts that are holding the splash shield up, they're like right here. And uh, they are, I think, 5 sixteenths on your drill. So you get yourself one of these guys, put them on your just a regular drill. I have a Milwaukee here, which is super old. And uh, just unscrew all the screws all the way around from the shield. You'll, you'll see them once you get there. And uh, once you get them off, slide the shield back and forth, drop it down, push it back, access your oil pan, let the flow is drain you can even add some flows from up top and let them kind of flush the engine which is not necessary but you can do if you want if you want to flush your engines you can do it that way and uh, make sure you put this plug back in put this little brass o-ring back on make sure you get one of those and uh put it back on don't over tighten it just make sure it's hand tightened uh go on top Put a eight and a half, uh, eight point nine quarts of oil. Go in uh, GLS, six cylinder, twin turbo. That's that's it, guys. All right, so the oil changes are pretty simple, as long as you follow all directions. You can also remove your top shield off your engine. This is your cap. Make sure it's clean. Make sure it doesn't have any milkshake on it. If it does, then you're in trouble. You can use a rag, clean this around it. There you go, guys. So let's get a funnel, throw it under, so we can go ahead and uh, do a little flush. The funnel, I had to customize it a little bit for my one of my other projects. So it fits just like this. Make sure you put some rags, here just in case you drop some oil, you can catch it. There you go. I'm going to be using today uh, Mobile One, which calls for right there. And that's the one I'm using. So I'm your European counter formula and I'm going to use 540, which is a little heavier. We do have a lot of miles on the car, which is about 120,000 for a 2017 for a little high mileage. So make sure it's a fully synthetic oil. And I'm going to use this one uh, for, a, for long drives. We do drive take road trips over a thousand miles at a time. And uh, I like to be, uh, summer is coming and uh, winter is about to be done. So I think 540 is decent weight instead of going with a 040, a little thinner, but 540 is, I think it's, this is the weight I'm gonna go with from now on with the, with the GLS. All right, so I'm gonna add about a half a quart. which is about $5, so, and we should have the oil coming down. See, it's still really, really dark. So that's why I'm kind of flushing it. Now it sees how it's getting more yellow. 
So that's what I mean by flushing the oil. It will get rid of all the yellow, uh, the dark sludge that's sitting on the bottom of the pan that didn't come out with the rest of the oil. So now it's nice and clear. So now we can go ahead and put a plug in. Then we can uh, put a shield on the back on the bottom and uh, top it off with the oil. All right, guys, so we have the shield back on. It's down here on the bottom. All tightened up, good to go. Bucket is there. Look at all the mess that we had. Right, just a little splash. All right, guys, so we're back up on top. Now we have to fill the oil. I did say, I think, 8.9 uh, quarts. I still have to look at the owner's manual, but I think that's the right amount. So let me go ahead and uh, look for it. So now we have to, before we do uh, oil, we have to remove the filter, which is right here. So you're done with your oil changes, performing oil changes, and you have a service on for filters and all the other kind of things. Yeah, that's just go on your steering wheel and look it up and Google it. It will show you how to go ahead and reset your miles on your oil and then just just write it down on a piece of paper so you remember that for the next time when you need to do your oil changes on the car so this is going to be it for this video and i apologize for not showing you the video i think i lost it in the process which i shouldn't have but uh i think i lost it in the process and i couldn't show you guys the end of the video of how i did change the oil filter and i filled the oil in with uh 5w40 mobile uh, one uh mobile oil so i want to thank you guys for watching the video and i will catch you guys in the next video really soon because we're working on a corvette as well and we got a couple things going on so i'll see you guys next time peace